Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Holotrak and we are playing Europa Nesolus 4 with the newest DLC, uh, Golden Century. Welcome back to our rather precarious situation. We have a lot of rebellions and we also have a coalition against us. I knew that the coalition was happening, so that's not that's not too bad. I guess we'll live with that. I think actually what we could do is buy up our trust here with Austria. And I guess we could also buy up our trust with France. Do we need these guys for anything? I don't think so. I think it's highly unlikely that we go into any additional war. Could buy up with Ayutthaya. Should we go up to 80? Yeah, probably. It's fine. Our Diplo rep was sabotaged, and since then I'm kind of concerned. So, improving here. I think I should put one, two... What are you doing? What's the rule? Target outrage countries. Well, it's gonna take a while. To target all the countries that are outraged by us. But at least due to the humanist ideas, it will tick down pretty quickly. Manus has made a claim. Liberty desire from subjects development. That's what we need for sure. Right. And that should bring all of that down. Three uniforms. It's just what we need. Crap. Well, I'm pretty happy now. <laughs> Right, we have more rebellions. Ah, shit. Okay, so now we have rebels in the areas that we're trying to core, which is a real problem. I mean, separatism is fine, but... of separatism, yeah. I mean, Brunei just was not clever enough to build proper forts. Right, we're gonna do with these dudes though. Bomani separatists, we don't want to give them any leeway. Okay, I tell you what, we actually are gonna buy down the war exhaustion. Still no Dippa rep dude, which is a damn shame. But here we have someone who is gonna reduce our national unrest. So will that do something? We're still at 10. It's preposterous. Discontent is not helping. Positive stability is definitely helping. Ah, look at these guys building, building elephants. It's just their cavalry, I guess, the elephants. All right. Come on, guys. We don't want the Bomani separatists to succeed. That would not be good. Would just not be right. Yeah, trying to do too much in a war is definitely a recipe for disaster. I mean, I'm not sure why I'm thinking of this right now, but... I think I read it somewhere. These guys are being way too successful over here. And for some reason, everyone manages to get... Everyone manages to get breaches in my super high level forts. That's just the way that it goes, I guess. Marinda has now it's not producing coal. Okay. That's nice. Okay, 
Alright, this army is now down to 25k. I'm not sure if that's enough to... Yeah, no. This 26k army is now stronger. I have no idea how I'm about to take out these 40k over here. It's a real problem. <sighs> I tell you what, we're just gonna go and uh, go mercenaries. That's what we'll do. Screw it. I got the money. Why not go mercs? That should at least allow us to counter these guys without too many problems. Okay. Okay, here are the ships. Put that leader on. Send these guys to the ships. Move these guys around. Damn it. I really need to build proper fortresses here along the coast as soon as I've caught it. Run, 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 run. Come on. I'm probably going to lose these regiments. There's probably not much use in... Keeping them around at zero strength. Just too lazy to rebuild them, quite honestly. Come on, guys. Gotta move on. So, I guess we'll just really quickly have to confront these guys. Go with force marches. Obino and Balasaur. Okay, we'll, we'll take... This guy, yeah, it's not bad. And Ubino is actually in Naples. No, it's actually my country. Okay, right. Hmm. Let's do it. We can get through this. It'll be fine. But I probably screwed my country a lot harder than it needed to be. We're in a really good situation prior. And now we're in not such a great situation. Wait, what? Gujarati separatists. Oh, we got these guys here too? Ah, oh, great. Holy hell. We could actually have these guys make a sortie. That would give us another 4k. I've never really used that, but we could if we wanted to. Okay, so listen. Pull these guys away. Um, infantry. I'll merge. Cancel. Merge them all. Away the infantry. Okay, these guys are only 22k. That is that is quite a problem. How many regiments is that? 27. That's eh, too many for the for the transport ships. We need to take these guys over. So that we can continue coring. This is the one place where we aren't coring. Uh, leave a siege. Probably pretty unsafe to leave these sieges, but oh well. Actually, tell you what we'll do. We'll just go ahead, build more line infantry. So that's another 12. 
That's 15, so then we have 25. So we'll just go with 30 infantry regiments without anything else. Slap our best general on them and use them as rebel suppression. Okay, sure, whatever. that should work. Breton separatists. Oh man, I really don't want to go to Hawaii. <laughs> See the white Brittany. <laughs> oh man. Is that something I can do in Hawaii? Maybe give them autonomy or something? I mean, not that I care much about this place, but you know, just do this. Come on. I'm not interested in this crap. Okay, Byzantium is also not doing all too well. I guess they also have a lot of war exhaustion. It's natural enough, I guess. Oh wait, that's the Dalmatian Guard, and these guys are actually ready to fight. Hmm. Yeah, still, it's probably not worth it. We'll just use the mercs. Bring this over. We'll use the Merc army to fight down the last couple of rebel stacks. Recruiting crisis. Oh, really, you want me to lose 28,000 manpower? Oh man, that would be so bad. I guess I'm already at zero, so screw you. Okay. Okay, right. Bring everyone to Brunei. And our guy has died. Let's go lottery. Traders are now dominant. I think we're gonna recruit a... I think we're just gonna recruit our leader again. Just go cheap leaders in this case. We're spending a lot of admin power on coring. Gotta be careful that good Gerard doesn't just spawn. That would be pretty gnarly. Come on, guys. Yay, Skutari space manpower has been increased. Are they always just increasing manpower, I wonder? Okay, the weight of this is decreasing. Gotta push this. Okay, we'll go with red coats, I guess. Reformed Latin Hussars, sounds nice. Exhaustion is still very high. National unrest is still at eight. Could be worse. Uh, independence for Gujarat is actually very, very quickly growing. We really have to do something about this crap, so let's see. Nope, you're not that good. I think we'll take you, Maria. Contarini. Onto the ships. And into the fray. I do not want to lose this land. Ah, oh, man. Oldenburg has more land. Damn it. This actually pisses me off. This might bring me. And they're allied with Poland too. Gonna break your alliance with Poland. No. Why is are these guys over here in Indonesia? What do you want here, Oldenburg? Just like stay home. Go away. 
This is my playground. Seeking commercial opportunities for its trade companies. I have made a generous offer to Azuran for the purchase of Tanga. So now it's Austria too. And Japan. Where is Tanga? Down here? No. Papal state. Over here. Or not. Maybe I'm maybe I'm seeing that wrong. Oh let them. They all want to push east, I guess. We just wanna hold India. Hmm. These guys don't even have full morale. Lose 10 Republican tradition. Yeah. Shit. Ferrara is no longer the seat of a cardinal. What the hell? Who bribed that person away? I hope it wasn't Florence. That would that would really annoy me. Now I have to re-siege that level 8 fort. I'm really a sucker for punishment. I guess I'm the king of bad decisions. Take the other thing back. 92% that siege is never gonna end and I doubt that I'm gonna get breaches as quickly as the AI Independence for Trapezond Come on Byzantium, what you doing? You sleeping? Sleeping on the job, that's not nice our relations here with the Pope. They hate us for some unknown reason. I'm not sure why the Pope hates us. We've been perfectly nice to him all those years. We've been best friends. Hmm. Siege ability is pretty shitty. Okay, at least this time Caraman will help us. Holy hell, this is a shit show. <laughs> this is the worst. Okay. We'll control this province, that's good. No idea what else we're gonna do here. I guess we could just go down and uh, get this army, use their cannons. We're gonna need cannons, I guess. Have to use cannons. A bit annoyed that I'm losing my my um, cardinals. The pope the pope hates us so much that we're basically getting no papal influence whatsoever. In Marina. Hmm. I mean, all these guys are buying lands here. Oldenburg also has land over here. Come on. Now things are really starting to make me angry. Well, Oldenburg specifically is making me angry. That is gnarly. I mean, they're not 
controlling anything. They're not really doing much. They're not getting a big part of the cake, but still, it annoys me. Okay, load these guys onto ships. Bring them over here to Surat. How much, like, force limit does this place have? 52, okay. <sighs> We're gonna get another 10 years of separatism here, just because they're re-sieging the bloody thing. God damn it. Attack this I'll attack this army before they can take the province. I've had it. Romanus has the end of internal conflicts. We might actually maybe run into internal conflicts if we keep at it like that. Okay, so let's send the cannons in. Lose prestige or lose power. Don't want to lose prestige. We might need it to Buy our guys down. Bring this out to blockade the thing. Oh man, it's still gonna take forever. 8,000 rebels. Does this guy have. He has no siege pips. I think we'll switch this out completely. Those mercs might be more useful somewhere else. Okay, now just wait until things happen. So yeah, I guess Byzantium doesn't really care about this thing going away. I guess they have no ships or no troops. No, they have troops, they have ships. I just don't give a give a don't give a fuck here. I just let that slip away. I fought for this, Byzantium. Lazy bums. I wonder if I really need the guy to counter espionage against Russia. I mean, it doesn't really do much for me. I think this is futile too. Let's improve with Byzantium. That's that. Took that back. You can take care of this, right? Yeah, okay. That's something. Bring these guys to Venezia. It's all fine and dandy. Okay. At least people are leaving the military coalition. I like that for sure. And there's the trial. Let's boost our Republican tradition. War exhaustion. I mean, I could keep buying it down, but... <laughs> this has definitely not helped the country. Secret societies... Eh. I really want the stability, but it can have nasty consequences. Nope, I won't do it. Don't think the payoff is good enough. Guns need men to fire them. Do we wanna do we wanna annoy Florence? Oh, Florence has only 14% liberty desire. Yeah, sure. Why not? Florence, deal with it. It's just how it goes. It'll probably go down again. Uh, Terra Nova gives us a... a merchant. I wish we could bring Venetian Alaska to that point, but they only have six cities. We would probably have to fight... 
Portugal or yeah, French Alaska. Okay, people leaving the coalition. I like it. I like it a lot, I gotta say. Okay, listen, I'm gonna put down some manufactories in this place. Put the university here. Put the manufactory here. And then over here you already have everything that you need. Where's your capital? Which of these is your capital? This one? Okay. Sure. I mean, this is a very, very poor colonial subject. We would probably have to mm, help them quite a bit until they're decently powerful. Let's check on Terra Nova. Hey, they're 15k now. That's not bad. <laughs> but they still have that colonist in there. Come on, just let me build things. Send them somewhere else. Oh, they've, they've improving. They are improving places, though. That's nice. Yeah, they actually have been improving quite a bit. That's good. If you keep improving, I'm gonna keep building things. Oh, they're building a shipyard. Nice. <sighs> Malika wants military access. That's not gonna happen, buddy. Sorry, no. Just no. Hey, we got a war breach. Okay, I think I feel like things are turning around now. I hope. Portugal is gonna attack Kilwa. I don't care. I mainly care about people getting all these all these spots in India. But then on the other hand, I mean we probably control most of the good trade spots in the area by now. I don't think there's much to there's much left that people can get. Like if they just want to have one province in the area and they aren't even a trading republic, I guess we can live with that. Whoa, these guys have some real problems here. Tondon revolutionaries. Okay, we won that siege. That was our revolt risk now. It's down to five. It's still not amazing. Hmm. Could probably upgrade a bunch of these places. We could also add this to the trade company. I don't think we haven't re we have really done that. That'll allow me to boost the trade power. Venice has less than one property appraiser company investment in West Indian Charter. Oh, you can only build one. Okay, that's that's cool, I guess. Apparently you're able to really pull um, land force limit out of this kind of stuff. I wish I could pull manpower out of it though. That's tax. That's production. That's just defensiveness, which doesn't help me. Oh well. Oh yeah, also Goa is not part of the trade company. this place at this place build this up okay I guess I can do that behind the scenes you don't really have to watch me do that I'll probably just do some trade company development in between episodes uh, and then like it, it's always the same I'll just add it if it's catholic and then we'll build up the trade power things make sure that that trade flows towards europe oh yeah canals and turnpikes i mean that's a lot of ducats though holy hell but yeah okay okay I also lost the merchant apparently it's kind of gnarly i wonder where we lost that one 
not in Canton. <sighs> Would like to have more merchants. There's nothing much I can do. Yeah, national unrest has almost died down now at this point. There's still independence for Ottomans. Come on, just engage them. You can do it. Or you can just sit here, wait for them to siege the thing down until you get um until you get the courage to attack them. Why? I don't get that at all. <laughs> I'm just sitting here. These guys are fighting them. What the hell? Why? What, Austria is here now? I think maybe in my old days, I might still go after all the other European powers and just go without any allies whatsoever. Not France, uh, not Austria, none of them. And just like go go crazy here trying to take these these places I won't I don't want to have them here maybe we'll try to go for Australia like use France one last time and then just get rid of the crap that could be a thing okay ah, at least the calls are coming in now oh that's good Mamluks has left the coalition We're gaining manpower now again which makes me pretty happy Castleton is part of our patrimony. We definitely have to build like a fortress over here in Samarinda. And then one over here in Baro. No, actually, this needs to be the place for the fort. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way I can do with one less. That sucks. I could move the one from Jesselton over here, I guess. That's possible. Just hate the border gore that this causes. It annoys me. Why do we have why do we have to have that much border gore? Yeah, and I bought another another place from Bengal. God damn it. Well, I guess. I guess there's nothing I can do. Oman has left the coalition. Now people are leaving pretty quickly. I guess they don't want to be the, the last ones caught in the coalition if some like, minor state decides to spring it. Okay, this is good. Almost all the cores are done. I will end the episode here, I think. Um, still lots to do. We probably have to attack Tondo to take this stuff. We'll have to go after Australia to finish Terra Nova, I think. That would be pretty good. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll see where it takes us. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.